In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this EVGA GTX 460 2 win card. Obviously, this is an EVGA card and it is a GTX 460. And there are two GTX 460s on this graphics card with two gigabytes of RAM. So they're each sharing one gigabyte. So it's kind of misleading because that's actually only one gigabyte of GDDR5. There is the top portion of it, and then there's EVGA reminding us that they're number one. And then it's a look at the card, get the serial number there. And then that's the side of the box showing the rear I.O. And there we are, 700 water greater power supply. 2 8 pin PCI Express. CUDA Cores, PhysX, and 3D Vision ready. Okay, so now let's take a look at what's inside the box. Okay, so we'll start. Open the side panel. And there we are, the nice black VGA foam. We've got the user guide, and there's a little case badge in there, and this would be the driver disc. But as always, you should double check and just download it online because I'm sure there's a much newer version online. We've got some included accessories. There is a mini HDMI to uh, full HDMI cable. We've got a okay two six pin to one eight pin, and another one two six pin to one eight pin, and then the DVI to VGA adapter. Now we get this behemoth. Okay. Quite a big graphics card here. There we go. Flip this over. Okay, so that card is huge. Let's take a measure out here we've got from the shield to the end it's a little more than 11 and a half inches that is big I'm sure this is yep normal we're hitting four there and the thickness is probably normal about one and a quarter okay so there we see our two eight pins there coming along hopefully that lights up it looks like it will light up I can't tell from here, but uh, it looks like it may light up. Got the rear I.O. there again. And the connector side. So this is aluminum, I believe. And then there's three fans in here. It looked to be about 80 millimeters. I'm trying to count the heat pipes. Uh, I can see one, two, three... I can see three, maybe four of them in there. They're definitely um, concentrated around where the GPUs are. So you want, let me try this again. One, okay, two, three, four. I think I see five or six heat pipes in there, I do. So should be pretty efficient cooling, but I think you'd have to have efficient cooling to handle the two, uh, two GPUs, one there and then the other one there. Okay, so that is a look at the card. Now let me get some other cards for comparison, and we'll put them up to it and see. Um, maybe I'll, uh, I'll go see if I can dig up a 460 and a 470 to compare this to. Okay, there is a 480, both by EVGA. 
lined up with it so you can see that right off the bat it's got to be at least an inch maybe an inch and a quarter longer than a 480 however this card in theory should be um, quite a bit more powerful I think you've got uh, 336 CUDA course times 2 and this one has 480 so you should in theory this should be considerably faster in an, in an optimized game uh, that takes full advantage of SLI and then I've got a standard uh, GTX 460 also by EVGA and you can see the difference there that yeah, this is this is probably one of the biggest graphics cards I've ever seen next to my uh, 580 classified ultras and there is about three three and a half inches difference between these two EVGA cards I notice the fan is a little bigger on this 460 as well too so that'll give a good sizing difference there so this card is huge and it is quite heavy um, you might want to look for some support in a case you know my test benches all have them like this and so does my mountain mods case but if you had it in a case you know you might want to look for some some kind of support to, to catch this end here and uh, you know so it's not stressing the uh, the motherboard too much or try to break off the PCI Express connector there okay so let's install this in the test bench and then we'll see how well it does okay I've got the 460 to win and it is on the motherboard plugged in powered up everything is running the EVGA uh, symbol up here does light up and lights up white which is quite nice at first I was wondering because it looked yellow with it off but it does light up white and uh, yeah so as you can see it is quite a bit longer than this classified motherboard here it's pretty much a huge just a huge card it is um, but dual GPU they typically are a lot bigger so anyway this test system is um, x58 obviously we've got an i920 at 3.3 gigahertz and 12 gigs of ram and uh, this little in case anybody wonders this little dongle here is uh, EVGA's power boost and I typically use it if I'm gonna run SLI's or um, try SLI on, on motherboards just to give a little bit more amperage to the 12 volt line on the uh, PCI Express slots it just kinda plugs in here I did a review on it you can check my channel for that review and uh, demonstration of how it works but yeah it just goes into a Molex and gives 12 volt power a little bit of extra anyway for some uh, multiple video cards not that this needs it but I just never took it out so anyway uh, that is the card and we've got the fan speed set low right now and I'll go ahead and do like a, you know, I'll run a 100% fan here and we'll check out the noise difference. That is actually a lot quieter um, than I expected. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it's a high-pitched uh, fan noise, I guess, but uh, it's not that loud. I'm kind of impressed by um, the temperature here. So that that is good. I'm happy with that. So uh, let's uh, jump right in and let's do some testing on this baby. Okay, so for the setup we have here with the uh, 460 to win, we're running one volt on the clock, or excuse me, on the core and on the clock we have 700 megahertz per GPU so it is down clocked a little bit per GPU and the memory is at 1800 so my first test I'm going to do I guess we've got an idle temperature here you know around 38, 37, 39 depending on the card or which GPU so we'll go ahead and start up 3D Mark 11, and I'll run this test, and then I'll get back to you with the results. All right, so the 460 to win at the 700 megahertz. 
we've got a score of P6555 with a graphic score of 6567 so it's looking pretty good and we're performing you know right in here in the uh, within the averages I guess of other similar systems so that will wrap up the testing on this card in 3D Mark 11 but just to do a little comparison earlier we did a size uh, comparison with the 480 I'm gonna go ahead and do the 480 on the test bench and I'm just curious as to what the 480 scores here on this test bench to kind of uh, get an idea if two 460s on one card can beat out the 480 so let's do a swap here and see what happens okay so had the 480 on the test bench and what I got out of the 480 was a P score of 56.68 and a graphic score of 53.91 so the 460 to win actually smoked it by 900 P points and over a thousand almost 1200 graphical points so the 460 to win just spanks the 480 you know you're looking at a higher power consumption though you know two eight pins but and a bigger card of course but the 480 and the difference in price isn't that much to get you know a thousand more points of performance on 3d mark 11 of course the game would still have to uh, that you were playing would still have to support you know SLI and it would have to um, it would have to scale well so definitely if the game scaled well uh, or the software scaled well that 460 to win would just beat the crap out of the 480 might be different if the game or software doesn't scale at all with SLI or doesn't uh, doesn't use both graphics cards but most games nowadays do and so I would say the 460 to win is definitely a better buy than the 480 if you can get a hold of that at a good price Newegg plays with them off and on they're up and down it's July of 2012 right now so uh, at some point I'm sure e neither one of these cards will be available brand new and uh, but still if the price were real close to being the same I would take the 2 win over the 480 so that wraps up my review on the 460 2 win by EVGA and as always thank you guys for watching